All right, so I am going to do this quick video on how to find your documents that you need in DocuSign. So I want to go ahead and share my screen. So first, you always want to access DocuSign through opportunities. Look for the icon that looks like hands are shaking. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and go through whichever opportunity that you need to add forms to. You're going to look for the documents tab and click documents. You're going to, it's either going to say in this corner, start a transaction or go to transaction. So you're going to go ahead and click that. And then you're going to sign in DocuSign. It will have you enter in your username and password every time, which if you think about it, it is a good thing because that's all of your very secure information is on some of those documents, um, especially like pre-approval letters and things of that nature. So it's just for security purposes. But you can see now that I am in a room. So you see up top, it says rooms. And these are the documents I've already had added for other examples. Um, and if you go over to envelopes, that's where you send documents to sign. So right now we're gonna just stick with the documents tab. I'm going to go ahead and click this plus sign that says add, and I'm going to click DocuSign Forms. Now in our market center, we have it conveniently set up for you um, for different groups. So you want to click DocuSign Forms group. And then when you come down to the second tab, you'll see that we have groups broken up for you in buyer forms, commercial, our special COVID-19 forms, and then seller forms. So this makes it a little bit easier for you to find the appropriate forms so you're not scrolling through hundreds of PAR docs. Um, so for this example, um, let's go ahead and click seller forms. You can see which documents I already have selected in my room because you'll see a check mark there. Um, so that's helpful to know that you're not adding in a duplicate form unless, of course, you might need it. Um, so just for this example, let's go ahead and do a change in terms addendum. I'm going to go ahead and click and then I'm going to select add. And that is how you add a document to your 